So you probably learned what functions are um, versus relations, but then they get technical and they ask you what linear functions are. And graphically, if you were to just look at it and someone said it was a linear or linear function, okay, right, obviously the graph would look like a line. And that makes sense. It's a straight line. But of course, math has to get all weird and technical and make it a little more challenging. So if I looked at this and said, hey, fella, is that a linear function? You'd say yes. This one, not so much. This one, not a linear function. It has to have an exact um, constant slope or rate of change, right? It goes up over the same amount every time. This is all crazy. This is all crazy. And so that's intuitive, right? You'd say, I get it. Linear functions are easy. Next section. Unfortunately, life gets a little more complex when you're in high school. They might ask you a problem like this. 2, 4, 3, 6, 4, 8. And they'll say, is this a linear function? And you don't just graph it and then like get a ruler. Actually, you totally could do that. But you wouldn't graph this and get a ruler and see if it's a straight line. Uh, that would be a waste of time. And you're way too nerdy for that, okay? You and I, we have our, our algebraic ways of doing this. Really, the rule was there should be a constant slope from point to point. The slope between these two should be the, point, the slope between these two and even the slope between any two. Slope between them. So the question is, cool, how do I find the slope? I kind of need like one of those little drum roll buttons. The slope, a lot of nerds call the slope M. I don't know who thought of that, but let's just say M means slope. The slope is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So now it's getting all mathy, and don't get frustrated. This is easy, I promise. So when you look at these, right, you have points. You have X, Y, X, Y x, y. And the whole 1 versus 2 just would mean if this is your second point, this would be x2, y2. If this is your first point, x1, y1. If this is your third point, you could even have x3, y3. This is just a little notation so you know which point you're dealing with. So we have to find and see if the slope is constant between every set. So we're going to go from this dude to this dude. Okay? y2 minus y1. Second y minus first y. 6 minus 4 over second x, excuse me, so, this is confusing, second x minus the first x, 3 minus 2. We're totally on board. This would be 2 over 1. So the slope between these two guys, right, the slope between these two guys would be 2 over 1 from him to him. Now the question is, well, I don't know. Let's see if the slope is constant. What's the slope between these two suckers, right? Second y minus the first y, 8 minus 6 over Second x minus the first x, 4 minus 3. Oh, what do you know? It's 2 over 1. This is very promising. If the slope from one set of points to the next remains constant and so on forever in both directions, you have a linear function. Now let me just be lame, right? What if I change this to 10, right? So I'm not going to redo this slope. We already agree this slope from him to him was 2. What's the slope now from him to him? Second y minus the first y, 10 minus 6 over x minus x, 4 minus 3. Now this is 4 over 1. So if the slope was 2 between those two suckers and 4 between these two suckers, not cool. I call foul. That is not a linear function. So that's the lame way to do it. That's the, the hard way to do it. And unfortunately, it is the way to do it. And that's when you're given points. They might say stuff like, it's just a linear function. And they don't draw the picture. They just give you a, a uh, something like this. 2x plus 3, y equals x squared, y equals root x. And they say, which is a linear function? Unfortunately, this kind of requires some mathiness. This is the formula for a line. So yes, y equals mx plus b. This is the formula for, we'll draw that. This is the formula for a parabola, right? y equals x squared is a parabola, so no, not linear. This one is a weird function that you'll learn down the line. Either way, no, not linear. And if you panicked, you could actually graph points. Put in x values, find the y values, and see what it looks like. So that's the whole, is this a linear function speech? And I, it's, I think it's pretty straightforward once you get it. And remember, if you're having a hard time at your local high school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School, and the credits will be transferred back to you.